right at 90 degrees. Greetings, it's a build a boat <laughs> Thursday, and it's 7 30 p.m. I think the high temperature today was 100, and uh, so I had to let it cool off. Just a little bit of work to do today, and just wanted to show you. So, this here is the beginning of the keel. This is the forward end of the keel leading aft. And I've got this spaced out just like I planned to build it. So, issue today is how to get these beams to wrap around this to become at this angle. And of course, a skilled carpenters know you have to cut these lines in here to allow this part of the wood to bend. I don't know if they call it kerf or whatever, but that's what we got to do. These are the locations of these columns in the actual keel. Um, those are my posts, the post downs I told you about, and they make up the centerboard trunk. So in there is where my centerboard will go. And of course this will have plywood on it, marine grade plywood, sealed, so that what's inside of there won't get in the boat, which will be above. So we're gonna go ahead and start making those cuts and see what happens. set the saw cut everything with the last eighth of an inch that feels about right double check on my side A little bit high. All right. Got three lines marked. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the two lines on the center. I mean, the two lines on the end, and then cut the line in the center. Now I think we still have a substantial amount of wood here. That's about an eighth of an inch. And goal would be to elevate this until this 
runs perpendicular. And so when I do that, that's perfect. So I really think I only need two. So on the next board, I may only do two. So if you look at that, you'll see it's almost perfect. And this kind of simulates a perpendicular line of the post that would be there. So, go look the name of that cut up again. I forget what it's called, but that's perfect. As you see, voila. That's how we bend a straight piece of wood. So what I'll do tonight is I'll wrap this in plastic. I'll cut both of them. Then I'll set them up and let them glue overnight to get the shape I want. And then tomorrow we'll actually start working on gluing them, filling, filling up not filling but actually gluing them together along with the columns all right I think that's it for tonight <laughs> I'm gonna work but no more video peace and blessings Man, you like it in bit, don't you? I put the off on. <laughs> Sprayed a bunch of off myself. Not as bad today. Can you get that power plane for me? The what? The power plane. Yeah. Thanks. Alright, so we've gotten the uh, cuts made. Did a nice test fit. So now we're going to go ahead and boxy them up. Actually, just put some in there. You already got in you. the cracks? Yeah, in the cracks. Should have made it a little looser. My bad. <laughs> yeah. So now I've got to try and force this in the hole. It'll go, but not as easy as I wanted it to go. Necessary. Is it all of it? Yeah. 
good thing about this stuff is that we know it'll squeeze out. Might not want to put too much in. Side. So we're all done. Blew it up. Joints filled with epoxy. Can't really see it anymore. And got equal angles there, if you could tell. But it's just a slight taper. Now in the front I had to put this up just so that you can get um, positive pressure because when you when I stood it up to, turned it up to do it and would clamp one in basically the end that I clamped first would give away and the other side would still be straight so you have to give it some kind of opposition like that and then this one <laughs> was difficult to do on top afterwards because uh, well I just my, my table I couldn't get a clamp on the other side so to make to make sure I got the right angle I just left two boards out like see that's that's actually two blocks there two pieces of two by four so down there we have one just to make sure if you look at it again we got a similar angle and those angles there and there are just about correct and so there goes our Thursday night layup it's about 8 30 it's getting dark now and we're getting cleaned up all right peace and blessings